I am deeply honored to be uh, at uh, the CAUSE event today and want to, first of all, thank you, Charlie, for starting CAUSE and for your many years of service to the community and to your board as well. And yes, I do remember uh, all those events I attended with uh, Betty. Uh, as some of you may know, Betty is now the president of the Torrance School Board. And so they're um, working very hard to try to reopen schools in the middle of a pandemic. And just want to be um, very uh, clear about the state of Asian American community. We are uh, the fastest growing uh, community in America, according to US Census. And according to a Pew Research report, that came out about a year and a half ago, there are now more immigrants from Asia to the United States than from any other region in the world. And so we see this growth continue and Asian Americans are um, increasing not only in states like California, but also in states like Georgia, uh, which uh, is an important swing state. And some new data came out uh, showing that in 2020, over 50% of Asian Americans that voted in Georgia had not voted in 2016. So you're seeing this surge of Asian Americans and we've now gone from uh, being marginalized uh, to the margin of victory. Uh, so now is an exciting time uh, to be a part of the Asian American community. Uh, at the same time, we're also facing challenges. We know that with the start of this pandemic, Asian Americans started getting uh, hit with hate crimes and hate incidents because some people thought we were somehow carrying the virus. Uh, there was an Asian American family in Texas that was stabbed because a perpetrator thought that the uh, family members were carrying the virus. And we know that the Asian Pacific Policy and Planning Council has been tracking these events and there have now been over 2000 hate crimes and hate incidents against Asian Americans. It's one reason I led a bipartisan letter of over 150 members of Congress to the Department of Justice asking them to do more uh, to combat hate crimes against Asian Americans. It also, frankly, was unhelpful when the President of the United States would use racist terms like Kung flu. That only added fuel to the fire. Uh, with the incoming Biden administration, very pleased that uh, the next president and President, uh, Vice President-elect uh, Kamala Harris understand uh, the beautiful diversity of America, and they're not gonna go around making racist statements against the Asian American community. So hopefully we'll see less hate crimes being directed uh, at Asian Americans. And it's important for organizations like CAUSE to continue your great work, uh, to inform the community, uh, to raise awareness of issues that disproportionately affect the community. And I look forward to working with all of you as we continue to make California and America a better place to live, work, and play.